Well, a supermarket, restaurant, and a taco trailer headline this week's Dirty Dining. 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears shares one's man battle to beat back a whole neighborhood's bugs. It's hard to beat the convenience of a neighborhood market where you can buy all your groceries, pick up some booze, do a little gambling, and get a fresh, ready-made meal. But when you're doing all that, surrounded by roaches and rats, it takes the convenience out of the equation and puts a bit of a damper on things. Despite a sometimes losing battle, Nick Casto says Stewart Supermarket is determined to beat back the bugs. He claims customers stand behind him every step of the way. Everybody here knows what's going on with the rodents and the roaches. And he says it's not just his business. I had one customer, for God's sake, she came in, opened her purse, and a roach came out of it. What does that tell you? The whole area, it's old. The building on Stewart near Bruce that houses Stewart Market and Liquor was built in 1949. Nick's been running it off and on for 22 years, doing what he can on the inside, but with limits since they don't own the building. Landlords don't like to spend money. They just like to collect like money. The restaurant inside Stewart Market was shut down July 30th for a multi-generational cockroach and rat infestation, as well as gross unsanitary conditions. And how, how much of a hit is it to the business to not have this area open? Well, everything hurts, you know. I mean, we spend a lot of money to get this up and running a few years back. Inspectors found roaches and rodent droppings, as well as old food, grease, and dirt built up throughout the facility and on equipment. We eat here. My family eat here. My, all these employees that are working with me here, we all eat here, you know. And you think we'll like something like that in there? Nick claims there were only four cockroaches in the restaurant and the rodent droppings were confined to the back storage area. They love dog food. Dog food? The bags, yeah. <laughs> to keep the rats out, they're patching holes, putting out poison, and sealing areas around baseboards. We had another guy go up on the roof. Okay. And we said maybe they're coming in from the roof. We don't know. He says part of the problem lies with overwhelmed and understaffed pest control companies. Most of these companies, we pay them extra to come in every week when we see anything. But they don't have the time. They don't, they don't have enough help. So. One of his two pest control companies told him this story. He was saying that he was inside the restaurant and cockroaches were dropping on top of his head when he was praying. That's not a good look for anybody. No, 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 you know. Violations aside from the rats and roaches included refried beans and birria sauce that had to be thrown out due to improper cooling, a repeat violation from their March 11th inspection. Raw eggs were stored over ready-to-eat cheese, and boxes of fruits and vegetables were stored on the cooler floor. So you got this metal shelving to pick everything up that six inches that it's got to be off the floor? and they deep cleaned all areas the health district highlighted. You'll do a lot, you'll clean a lot, you'll spend a lot of money on, on uh, uh, pest uh, control stuff, and, but it's there, you can't, you can't change it. But you can, at least temporarily, beat the bugs back, and that's what Stewart Supermarket did, earning the restaurant's A grade back on August 10th. Sinaloa Tacos, a food trailer operating in an unapproved open-air food court on Decatur and Lake Mead, was shut down July 29th with 48 demerits and two imminent health hazards, no potable water, and gross unsanitary conditions. Liquid waste was leaking onto the ground. A large container of carne asada and one of cooked tripe were thrown out due to unsafe temperatures. Instead of proper dishwashing, a food handler briefly splashed chemical sanitizer onto dirty dishes and set them aside to air dry. And they were displaying the 2018 A grade card from a hot dog cart that's no longer active. Sinaloa Tacos got its own A grade back on August 4th with zero demerits. A food truck, farmer's market vendor, and restaurant in the Galleria Mall food court round out this week's Dirty Dining. Details on those can be found at KTNV.com. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.